All right. UConn. We got two more. The Yukon Huskies, 1 and 11 last year, 0 and 8 in the conference, six guys back on offense, nine starters back on defense. Number 69 most experienced team in the country, number 11 in the conference though. Randy Edsel's second stint has pretty much been a disaster. He is 4 and 20 since he came back. Defense is the main culprit, of course. The defense set FBS records with 617 yards per game allowed and 50.4 points per game. They were, last year, the number 123 uh, most inexperienced team in the uh, in the country. This year, of course, number 69, so that's a little better. Uh, the offense has got their seventh offensive coordinator in seven years. They lost quarterback David Pendle and their top four receivers, so where they were actually able to put up points in some games last year, might be a little more difficult to do that this year. Uh, how much does this school actually care about football? Does Edsel have any kind of magic left whatsoever? And I wrote, actually, like I did my my note-taking and whatnot okay. and wrote down this, how much does this school actually care about football before they decided that they were bouncing, bouncing to the Big East. I found that funny. That doesn't have a football conference. That's all I'm saying. Um, I don't think that they care. Like I, I think I think they're just done, right? You know what's strange? If you were to look up UConn's football locker rooms, they just went through a massive renovation. Yeah, I know. To help recruiting, and they look really good. Yeah, and, and they spent a lot of dough. Somebody cares. Somebody cares enough to stroke a big check. Yeah, you're right about that. That guy got to feel like an ass right now. <laughs> I got him. I got him one and eleven. The only win is uh, over Wagner to start yeah, things off. One and eleven. They won't sniff another win. No, I think you're they, probably it, right. It won't be within double digits of anybody the rest of the season. 